A scene out of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Look at this. A swarm of seagulls converge on downtown Providence. Viewers say they've noticed the influx of gulls for more than a week now. So what is drawing them to the river near the pedestrian bridge? The 19th Molly Levine is in the city, and you better keep your eyes in the air, Molly. Yeah, Dan, we have figured out um, the answers to those questions. And you know what? We came over here to see if, you know, any seagulls were still flying around. They must be sleeping. But the pictures and videos tell the whole story. And DEM says all of this is natural and normal. We think it's just a case of seagulls being seagulls. Simple as that. Right here in Little Providence, Rhode Island, it's, exa it's an example of a natural food chain. You have a smart predator taking advantage of a situation. Mike Healy, Chief Public Affairs Officer with DEM, tells me that situation is a natural fish kill. Instead of going out to the ocean before last winter, a lot of them schooled in, in urban rivers. Schooling in the city. Like hundreds of thousands of fish in a small area, they're gonna consume the oxygen in that water really quick, right? We call that dissolved oxygen. The dissolved oxygen, you know, dissipates fish are going to die causing seagulls in the city. They see these fish from a long way away. Our viewers seeing all of these seagulls, our NBC 10 sky cam even catching a glimpse and pedestrians walking along the bridge or working in the area. We have our, our captain's training going on uh, and uh, in the middle of that is uh, thousands of seagulls. Water fire volunteer coordinator Gary St. Laurent keeping an eye on the sky. It's adding another obstacle, that's for sure, um, where you shouldn't be having hoods up or bringing ponchos or anything. He says in the 10 years he's been doing this, he usually sees this seagull behavior in the fall, not the spring. I, I don't think it's an issue with the river. I think the river is nice and clean, as clean as it has been in a long time. Um, so um, it's definitely just the fish are using up all the oxygen. So probably a good sign. How long it will last depends on how long the fish are around. For the gulls, it's really like an all you can eat buffet right now. An all-you-can-eat buffet. And I know we're not used to seeing, you know, these seagulls in urban settings like this, but I did speak with some people who were just out having a picnic earlier, and they said the seagulls did not bother them at all, didn't come up for any food or anything like that, so it shouldn't shy, um, make you shy from coming here to eat. Live in Providence, Molly Levine, NBC10 News 19. Hi, everyone. It's Patrice Wood from NBC10. Thank you for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across Southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.